Acts chapter 3, verses 13 to 15, 17 to 19. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that the Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. Let us step back to the Old Testament times and turn to the book of Isaiah. It is important to remember that the Old Testament prophecies are fulfilled in the New Testament. Isaiah's writings were written about 750 years before the coming of Christ. Isaiah 53, the prophet foretold of a suffering servant who would one day bear the sins of many. He tells of a man of sorrows who would take on himself the punishment we sinners deserve. He would carry our sickness and swallow our disease. He says in verse 6, All of us have strayed away like sheep. We have left God's path to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the guilt and sins of us all. He goes on to say in verse 5, He was wounded and crushed for our sins. He was beaten that we might have peace. He was whipped and we were healed. Peter assures his readers that Jesus Christ was the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. It was Christ who accomplished a glorious exchange. His death brings us life. In the same way that we were brought into this world through the pain and suffering of another, we are brought into fellowship with God through the pain and sufferings of Christ. As we close, let us reflect again on today's reading, Acts 3, verses 18 and 19. But God has brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away.